Hey, you're welcome to my channel. Some months ago, I did the unboxing of this 43-inch Smart Asano TV. This TV is not just an LED TV. It's an Android television, which simply means you can install all your normal Android apps in which you install on your phones. You can also install it on this television. And the purpose of making this video is that I would like to give you an update of how I've been using this TV, what have I observed on this TV, what have I discovered while using this television for some months now. And while I take you through this journey, please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe to this channel for more unboxing updates and a whole lot more. So what I'll be doing in this video is that I'll be taking you through the menu functions and features in which this TV has and what makes it different from every other TV. So stay tuned and keep watching till the end. Please take note that when you want to use the Android features that are on this TV, please you have to connect this TV to the internet before you can be able to gain access to those features. This is the remote. You can see a whole lot of buttons, a whole lot of functions on the TV. You can see reverse and a whole lot. You can see pause and play and so many others that which is on the TV remote. I will be showing you the front and this also the back. This is how it looks like. I would say the remote is very good. It sticks to your hand when you are using it so it doesn't fall off from your hand when you're using it. So the next thing we have to do is to turn on the TV which we are doing right now and after turning it on I'm going to go into a detailed explanation of what are the features and the functions of this television. So after putting the TV on, this is how it looks, this is how it comes on your screen, it shows a Asano, um, which is the logo of the television, then the next thing it will do is to bring this up, Wisdom Share Smart Cloud TV, which is also the name of the television, then it will bring this, this TV has already been connected to the digital system of this television, which is the channels, the station in which you are looking at. This is one of the digital stations. You can see how the display looks like. It's very clear. And the next thing we're going to be doing is that we're going to go into the main features, which is what we're going to be doing on this TV. Going to the home settings, that's where we can be able to access every other special features that is on this TV. Then we'll come to the home, which is on the remote. This is how the home looks like. You can see YouTube, we have Netflix, Facebook, and Skype, and Twitter, and so many other applications. VLC Player, Spotify, Boom Player, Play Store, Go Live, and Kind Link. The Kind Link is something I'm going to explain. That's what connects you to your phone. If you want to project a movie or something on your phone to your television, you can use the Kind Link. Once you click on the kind link it will tell you to go to your file share on your phone then you just use the application which you can use to share the app so we need to come to app come to network this is where you connect your internet at the network then the next one is the media we have to come down to the media on this tv i connected a pen drive already which i'm going to show you the files that is on the pen drive and with that files you can be able to play it on your tv we have video we have audio even documents can also be seen through this tv so i'm going to show you some of the things so now let's come to this place the next one we have to do we have to come to settings this is the settings it has network time common then system information these are just the normal default stuff that comes with the television you'll see language this is where you set the language you get to see the keyboard select the keyboard system recovery blue screen then device name when you're using the kind link and you're using your phone to search for the tv this is the name of the what you will see on your phone smart tv so whenever you are searching the tv with your phone that's how you get it then now we have to come to this part which is the applications now we have to go into the apps one by one the first step we have to look at is the kind link which i've once explained which is the app which you can use to be able to 
project movies or whatever that is on your phone to your television you understand with that you can be able to see whatsoever if you have a movie or you want to play music or a movie or anything on your phone you you use a kind link then the next thing we have to look at we also have the vlc player the vlc player you can use it to play movies that are on your pen drive so whenever you, you con your pen drive is connected to the tv you can be able to use the vlc player this one was well, this vlc was downloaded i personally downloaded it so you can be able to use it to play stuff video or whatsoever that is on your pen drive so this how this movie you are seeing here is a movie that is on my pen drive which is what i'm playing so we're going to be skipping this and move to the next one and if you have any other files on your pen drive music videos no matter how many the video is you will get to see everything on this vlc player which you can see on your screen these are what is on my pen drive it's not on the tv it's not connected to the internet so that's it then we'll come to spotify this is how the spotify look like the reason why it's not coming is because it's not connected to the internet then we we'll also come to the next one which is boom player if you have the internet connection the boom player and all these applications that is downloaded on this tv i personally downloaded all these applications on the tv all of them will work once you have the internet connection you can see the media video library and the account so once you connect an account on it it works once the internet then we have the mx player go live play store the play store is where you can download all applications but you have to sign in to the play store before you can be able to access applications from the play store then the next one is this we come to the youtube the youtube i personally have used the youtube and it works you'll be able to watch movies and just as i said at the beginning all these applications the android applications uses the internet if you don't have internet access you can't be able to use all this the next one is we have to come to this other part in this part you get to see all the applications that is installed on the tv if you want to uninstall any application this is where you get to see it you see the current link and every application that was installed on this tv this way you get to see it if you want to uninstall the application you can decide to select the one in which you want to uninstall or you want to install so this is where you see all of them then we'll come to this the facebook if you have an a facebook account you can connect your facebook account from this place you can be able to see everything on your facebook account then we'll come to the netflix in this netflix i've seen someone that complained about this netflix it is not a free netflix you have to have a netflix account before you can be able to use the netflix so it's not free you have to be aware that the netflix on this tv is not free then we'll come to the twitter and every other apps it also have tv assistance if you want to learn more about the tv you go to the tv assistant from there you can be able to access everything and get to know more about the tv then it also have a browser which is on your screen it has an installed browser from the company Asano. With this browser, you can be able to go to any website. You can be able to type. It also has a mouse button. You can control it from the remote, as you see on your screen. So, with all this, they have we have a whole lot. You can be able to browse your internet and all that through this TV. And the next one is this. You come to this place. We have the App Store. It has its own installed App Store. Just in case you don't want to use the Play Store, you can use the App Store. So this is the TV assistant, which I was once saying. This TV assistant has a whole lot. This is where you get to see everything. You have to deep have a deep cleaning. You have to do the network test, net check the net, network speed. If you want to uninstall applications, this is also where you come to. You can see we have the cache garbage. We have the application data. We have the user files. You can be able to clean if there is anything that is not needed. You can be able to install and you can be able to uninstall applications through this TV assistant. You can be able to see everything, the files that is on the TV, their sizes and a whole lot. You can also run a, an optimization on the TV to be able to reduce 
optimize the TV and you can see all that on your screen. You can be able to check the network and do the network test which is exactly what I'm doing on this TV. There are, and you can also uninstall applications. If maybe you mistakenly downloaded, installed an application and you want to uninstall it back, this is where you get to do all that. You can clean the applications. You can see on your screen there's nothing like that. There's a whole lot on this TV then. The next thing we have to do, we have to go out of this place. This is what I once said, the optimization you can optimize the TV so that you can be able to run fast on the Android aspect so you can be able to optimize it then we have to come back to this place which I was once explained before we went to the TV assistant so all these are what the TV contains the special functions and features it may be on other TV but since I've been using this TV I've not have any problem I've not encountered any problem or have any issue with this TV. I've been using it for some months now, not one, not two, not three. I've been using it and I haven't experienced any problem with this TV. So on my own take, I will recommend this TV if you can afford it, it's good. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for more of this kind of videos. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.